y sobre todo que nunca olviden los consejos de sus padres. Vamos a levantar todos juntos la copa y vamos a decir salud.
as you saw, this video was not like the other quinceañera videos because it wasn't like vlog style. It was just filmed and that is because I was asked to film it for them and I had to burn it into a DVD and all that. But I do want to explain that that day I had so many technical difficulties. I had three cameras with me, but they would run out of battery. My camera, my vlogging camera that I used, this one, the blue one, it makes a lot of noise when it focuses. So it would make a lot of annoying noises, but it started failing that day. It would shut off by itself and it wouldn't turn back on. And then I would start recording and it would stop and then turn off. It was a hot mess, so I couldn't really use it. Then I used Diana's other camera, but it had like a it has like a yellow tint to it. So and it wasn't like the sharpest quality either. So I had to make that work. And then I had the other camera that I had, it was great, but the quality again wasn't that good. But I worked with what I had, and that was the outcome. Of course, the original video, this was just small clips of it. It's two hours and a half. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, the editing. I think it was good. The only thing that I didn't like was some of the sound in some parts and also the quality in some parts. Because I did use three different cameras, the things vary depending on what part it is. But, you know, you live and you learn, made mistakes, very a lot of technical difficulties. I just wanted to give a little explanation on why I wasn't really in the vlog and I wasn't really vlogging. I wasn't saying anything. I was just filming what was happening. So, there. That's your explanation.